With over a quarter of the field as my rival, we move on to the tight confines of New Hampshire to continue our Xfinity Series career. So let's see if we have the pace to qualify well and hopefully race well as well. So off of corner number four, and what's the qualifying lap going to put us? 22nd. Not bad, not bad. Almost halfway up the field. Hopefully away from most of the rivals in the field. Ah, feeling pretty good about this so far. Of course, wait till the race and see how badly it uh, probably is about to disintegrate on me. All right, so coming down to the green flag here at New Hampshire. We are racing. We are underway. We are flying down into turn one. We got a flex seal car coming up behind me. We're just going to sneak into line here behind Bubba Wallace or slide up the track a little bit three wide with Jeremy Clemens down the inside and down the back straight away we go after losing a couple of positions so that's not good Joey Gase I think is a rival in fact there's going to be a lot of guys who aren't my rider uh, there's not going to be a lot of guys who aren't my rival I should say so we've lost a couple of positions here so clearly the outside line was not the way to go we're falling behind Gase here Try to start getting back up the pack a little bit. Oh, it was, whoa. Armstrong was diving down the inside. Somebody slammed into the back of me. And then gets up into the wall and brings out the caution. So first yellow of the day. We're not going to pit. No reason to. And we'll go back to the green here. So, yeah. Uh, I kind of jerked the wheel out of the way, no doubt about it. Uh, I was afraid I was going to get turned by Armstrong in there. He seemed like he was really diving the dog down into the inside as we get a really good restart on Clements here. Go three wide to the inside of him. And dive it in there on the apron a little bit. I'm going to try not to make too much contact with these guys if we can avoid it. And that's much better off of there. So we get a decent run. Logano going to give me a little bit of a help there. I think Logano is definitely a rival. Oh, and in turn three, a little bit of a slide going on there. We're definitely dirt tracking it a little bit in the corners oh man they are three wide out in front with Mike Lynette and Threat way out to the outside a little bit of a slide going on as well again just using the apron to turn the car felt like I got a decent exit there again the straight line speed is not going to be there as we've got a pretty uh four car for that sort of thing as we found out at some of these bigger tracks but now as we work four wide underneath Ty Dillon Casey Kane and Ryan Reed well we pull it off for now and actually are past our qualified position whoa it's locked the brakes up going into one that's going to allow a ton of cars to the inside so that wasn't very good but we've got a good run on the outside hopefully we'll be able to stay in the draft and Ryan Reed or Tyler Reddick I was trying to get to the inside everybody and then we just Carlo. slam into the back of Reed All right. and Reed goes for a spin so does Reddick but uh, after loosening up Reddick we got rid of him real quick we hurt the radiator because of course we did but we've only got three laps to go on the stage already line. so the stages are going by pretty fast here at New Hampshire which is a good thing I suppose Hold the bottom. Easy. Hold just line. bullying Kane a little bit just a little bit of contact there down the back straightaway into turn Hold three. First time I've been completely clear going into turn three this whole race, which is kind of nice. Let's see if we can set up a good exit here. Seems like it's working pretty well off of the corner. And we kind of get a clear shot at going in behind Reed in turn one here. Reddick flying up behind me. Can't remember if he's a rival or not. If he's not, he's probably getting to that point very quickly as we go down the back straightaway here Kane looking all to the back of me down on the brakes keeping the car on the yellow line oh car in the wall it's Ty Dillon that's probably going to bring out the yellow it hasn't brought it out yet well I guess they're going to let it run to the uh, conclusion of the stage wow okay well and there goes Reddick and he wrecks me that's not a surprise, considering what has just had transpired. Carlo. Clear low. And the rivalry 
continues. Finally get a yellow, but we're 34th in the uh, standings. That's a bit uh, disappointing, but probably a bit expected. Uh, we're going to pit. Everybody else is staying out, so that's not going to make things particularly great for me. We'll loosen up the car a little bit more. Since I haven't been completely wrecking loose yet, Ty Dillon's already lost four laps somehow. So, here we go. Carl Long, our teammate to the outside and the boss. And we are back to racing now. JJ, the jet plane Yaley, is a rival. So we've got to be careful not to aggravate him as best we can. We'll go to the outside. Right Tried there. to cut it to the inside, but Carl Long was there and kind of slowed right. me up a little bit. Oh, no, we made contact with Yaley, so that's not going to help anything. Uh, you know, I would not be a very Hold good uh, diplomat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just driving it in way too deep. But I gained some positions, kind of. So we get into the back of Kennedy. Just lean on him a little bit. I know Ray Black's a, uh, a rival, so we're going to try to stay away from him. David Starr and Tom Jeske are both rivals as well. So as quickly as I can get around them without doing exactly what I just did would be a good thing. But regardless, we got around him. For now, I'm guessing David Starr is going to be Give me a nice little bump draft going into turn three. Nope, he didn't get there. Right. So we'll dive off into the inside of Joey Logano. Again, Logano, a rival, so we've got to be careful. And I think this is the video of me saying, we've got to be careful around these rivals, and then me running into the rival and completely upsetting any diplomatic relations I may have had with these uh, drivers. Oh, let's begin to deal in Lupton, but we'll use Lupton as a help around the corner and almost get underneath these Junior Motorsports 88 and 5 cars respectively. Keep it right there. We'll dive it off dirt track and into turn 3 once again. Right. I will say this track is way better to drive in this game than it was in NASCAR Heat Evolution. But uh, New Hampshire generally isn't that fun in a stock car. Oh, his brown just blocks Casey Kane there, we run our fastest right lap of the race, right. as you'd expect, because I was using a car essentially to help me around the corner, but that was a good exit off of turn number two, and actually we cleared Brown, so that's pretty good. Almost up into the top 22, which is of course where we qualified, so that would be advantageous to get up there. Let's try not to hit Logano. I know Reddick's not going to be pleased with me, so I've got to be careful around Reddick and Logano, but I've already aggravated Reddick. Reddick tries to get around the outside. Did I make contact with Logano? I feel like I may have. All right. Which is not going to help diplomatic relations as I just run into the side of Reddick because, you know, why not? Let's just make everybody as mad as possible. Just completely driving in the hornet's nest, as it were. There we go. That's a decent run through turn three. Let's see if we can get that exit on Logano. Not quite. Well, we're going to get an, uh, an outside run down the main straightaway with five laps to go on the stage. Just pouring the brakes on, working around the outside. Logano just driving up the track at me. Okay. Oh, that's because Mike Lynette was down there. I was wondering why he was just coming up the track. It was That's kind of a weird thing for the AI to do. They don't really do it in the corners, but we're just going to Accidentally take a little bit of revenge on Logano for that. And now Brown all the way back underneath, and will fall all the way to 25th. As, wow, Logano is very high there in the corner. On the exit, four to go. We'll try to slice underneath. Keep it right there. Not quite going to happen. Reddick looking like he's going to try Stay to overtake right me, but we're side by side with Logano. A little bit of contact, a little bit more contact. Stay on the bottom. Keep it right there. More contact, and then Clear we'll on. slide all the way underneath. Side by side with Brown. A little bit more contact with Brown. Right in front of Almirola, somehow managing to just keep it in front. I don't know how I did that. Three laps to go. Almost up into 22nd. Carlo. Logano's right there. Clear. Oh, but we stayed ahead of him. Man, that was so close. But that's going to be too... Taking too much out of it. Logano going to give me a huge shot down the main or the back straightaway into turn three. But I find that a lot of times that will help me more than it hurts me when the uh, AI guys will do that to me. So we'll work off a of turn four. Right, wow, we are getting a big, big push in this car. Logano going to give me another shot with two clear, laps clear. to go. 
I don't, don't know where I'm going. This is um, crafting my own track here. Down to the bottom, working to the outside. Logano going to give me another outside. shot. Tyler Reddick's probably going to give me a shot as well. They're both trying to wreck me. Oh my They're god. On. Thankfully, since the bumpers line up, it's all good. On the throttle. Down the main straightaway. How many laps to go do we have? One to go. I always ask that and it's always one to go. Reddick tries to get in there. Oh, it's a little bit slow in the center. Reddick gives me a little bit of shot in the middle. We get off the corner behind Smithley, and here comes Reddick. Is he going to try to give me a bump draft? No, he won't. We slice to the inside of Smithley. Before the checkered flag. Oh, there we go, right there. Move him up the track. Take 23rd. And that's where we'll end the stage. But should it have everybody coming into the pits, so that'll be good. Unfortunately, I think we're probably going to restart on the outside, which is going to make things a bit difficult. I'm going to take some tape off the grill as well. Don't know if that's helping or hurting me or will help or hurt me, but regardless, we're restarting 23rd. And we're getting ready to go back to the green. We're racing again, so Bubba Wallace just out in front. As we're right at the halfway, so we've got a long way to go in this one. As Reddick will get into the back of me. And we'll slide underneath Casey Kane and in behind Ryan Reed. Can we get further up the pack? I'm not sure. We absolutely slide it into turn three. Slide it again. Just keep it underneath Bubba. Use Bubba up just a little bit. Just a little bit of contact there. Not too much. 25 laps to go. On the brakes. Diving it down. Little bit of apron. Little bit of apron action. Never hurt anybody. Right down again on the apron on the exit of turn two. Underneath Coleslaw. Can't quite get him. Hemrick, he's a rival. I had almost forgotten he was a rival. I didn't know I had rivals this far up the field, but yes, I do run up front sometimes in this career mode and finally the car has come alive so clearly the tape was the magic solution is wow that was close to coleslaw there but we'll put coleslaw behind us get in front of eric jones 12 lap or uh, 12th place not 12 laps to go and we dive underneath brandon jones can we get him a little bit of contact that's to be expected oh that was a late move there we get the braking done. Still we there. get to the inside of Jones. We pull away in the center of the corner. And I think we'll pull away on the exit. That was close, but we managed to get it. We got the position. So 23 laps to go. We're working our way close to the top 10. Not quite there yet, but there's a big pack of cars that has my name on it right now. As we are on the throttle, off of the corner behind Harrison Roads. I think I may have called him Ben Roads at one point to the outside, going to try to slice it down to the inside, which we do. Oh, but a yellow comes out. Eric Jones is coming into the pits. Uh, we don't need to pit. No, we do not. You know, tires would be an okay solution. Uh, doesn't really affect me at the moment. Because we're, we wouldn't be, we're not in the pit window, we wouldn't be able to make it to the end of the race regardless. So we're back to racing once again with 20 laps to go. Car up top. Get on the brakes. Car Just keep the car to the inside. In behind Harrison Rhodes and Brennan Poole, who I know Poole is a rival. So we want to be careful of him as we kind of shove the 01 car between myself and the 48. And out of the inside of Clements, who was started next to me on the initial start. So Clements has moved up through this field just as effectively as I have. But I move up a little more effectively. And we are now up into seventh fighting for a position in the top five. Wow, look at that move underneath Suarez. I think Suarez is a rival, so that was probably a mistake to be that aggressive. And screw it. And behind Blake Cook, big draft down the main, or the back straight away, and diving down to the inside. A little bit of contact, a little bit of contact, a little bit more contact, more contact, so much contact. There goes Suarez back to the inside. We're going to go, well, we were three wide for just a brief fleeting moment. And we'll slide it down into 
Turn number one, right, a little too much of a slide. Suarez look into the inside once again. Well, Suarez is racing me fairly clean, so I guess that little bit of contact that I did make with him didn't upset him too much. Except for William Byron just going to completely stop in the middle of the corner and hit the wall, but did not bring out a caution. But what it did do was screw me up on the exit of the corner and it allowed Kevin Harvick to get in my slipstream here as we dive it off into turn number three right. once again. Harvick to the outside, a little bit of contact with Harvick. A little bit of rubbing fenders, never hurt anybody. Come on, Harvick. And Good Harvick's going to go around the outside, so we'll lose another position. Fall back to sixth. Out of the top five we go for now. Clear right back top. into it we go. Come on, come on. You can definitely feel a tire wear. Tire wear is a pretty big deal at this track, I would say. Get into the wall there, just a little bit on the straightaway because I'm just that Harvick's bad. Back. And wow! Passed on both sides by William Byron and Kevin Harvick. So that's fun. Into Harvick again, side by side with Brandon uh, gone. And that was almost getting spun out by Hemrick there. Harlow. It's getting intense in the mid pack. Clearly, the tires, my oh, tires have fallen oh. off the cliff a little bit, I think. Me suspect. Now we've got guidance counselor Brad all over the inside of us. It is, a, uh, it is a uh, Cup low, Series low, battle low. here. Lots of guys from the Cup Series. Of course, we were just in the Cup Series at Kentucky. Missed out on that hot seat contract, which was a horrible embarrassment. Stay right there. Car but we make it to the inside of Happy, and then he gets right back around. Because clearly these guys have a lot more mid-corner to exit of the corner speed than I do. Is fairly frustrating if you go down the back straightaway with 14 or the main straightaway with 14 laps to go 10 in the tank. So I guess I could have pitted and made it to the end of the race, which is a bit disappointing. Now, well, maybe not. I don't know. Regardless, it's going to be a splash and dash at the end of this one. There's only four laps of fuel. For obvious reasons, is not a lot of fuel. As Keselowski makes his move down to the inside, he will finally get that position. We fall all the way down to 10th. So certainly some strategy would be key at the end of this one to uh, make it to the end of this race. With a potential victory as Brennan Poole decides to wreck me. He took his opportunity and he got me. So we got to love the rivals in this game. They give no craps about your feelings. I guess... Technically, that's true about how I drive in this game, as you can see. Me using up Harrison Rhodes. And Morgan Shepard just stopped at the pit entry. Um, not sure what's going on there. That certainly seemed like uh, something that would bring out a yellow, but it has not. So why Morgan Shepard is just sitting at the pit entrance, I will never know. But regardless, we're fighting for a top 10 spot here with a rival, Brennan Poole. So that's the uh, the key right now is we're just going to look. We're going to try to see. Yeah, he's still down there. So not sure why Morgan has stopped there or and why there is no caution for that. But regardless, we've got 11 laps to go. And now we look at the fuel tank. We've got seven to go. So we're right at where we should be with four laps on the fuel tank remaining four laps between the, the tank and the race. As I get way too deep into turn three, and that's going to allow Harrison Rhodes down to the inside and Coleslaw down to the inside. Uh, finally, Morgan Shepard is gone from the bottom, so not sure why he was down there. But regardless, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. There's also the other thing to think about in this race, which is the incentive contract. We need a top 15. We are now in 15th place to get that incentive contract. So that's kind of a big deal as well, if you think about it. Careful. So let's see if we can maintain this. Uh, well, no, we're not, because Matt Tift is going to go down to the inside. I think he's going to get it. Ooh, almost hitting the wall. So clearly the tires are really, really. And there's Morgan Shepard down at the inside of the track. What is going on? What is Morgan Shepard doing? Morgan Shepard is having a senior moment here, folks. 
He is having a senior moment, and we need to just Mario stay out of his way. <laughs> I, um, okay. That was very strange. Hold your line. Clear low. As Tyler All Reddick right. is wrecking me. And we'll get back into him, because screw Tyler Reddick. He's going to try to wreck me and try to wreck him. Okay. Of course, he's going to come up mid-corner here, unless I... We tried. We tried. Go ahead and wreck yourself trying to wreck me, Tyler. Go ahead and wreck yourself. But here we go, down the back straight away. Up into turn three. So, I'm almost considering taking tires at the end of this race. But I kind of feel like the splash and dash is going to get me way more time. It's just going to be about me holding on for the end of this race. Low, low. Getting the Reddick unintentionally continu continuing our rivalry. But you can see how much time I'm losing just on these old tires. You can see how madly they're wearing here. We can find the menu. Um, yeah, so the right side's really wearing quite badly. Particularly the right front, which is interesting. Uh, it seems like Morgan Shepard has finally gotten past the senior moment and gotten into the pits. We've got six laps to go, four laps on the fuel. So really, we're going to have to come in with two laps to go at the current fuel consumption rate. And here comes virtually the entire field. So now it is put up or shut up time right here. And we are put, we're not putting up very well as I slid to the outside there. Most of the field coming into the pits, the only one who isn't right now is Casey Kane. So interesting that Kane will stay out. Perhaps Kane will try to stretch it to the end. He's third, so there's a couple cars ahead of me. Brennan Poole's one of them. Not sure who the other would be. But this is going to make things interesting, certainly, at the end of this one. Is Kane going to dip down to the bottom? No, he's not. Eric Jones isn't either. So these guys have not needed to pit yet. Let's take a look at the fuel. Carlo. Potentially, we're going to have to pit on this lap. So touch the wall just a little bit. Nobody else coming in. Four to go. Kane just took the lead. He leads the race from Jones. We're just keeping Harrison Rhodes behind Low us at the fuel. moment. Low on fuel now. It's still two laps to go on the fuel. So two laps to go on the fuel. That is the situation. Leader is pitting. Leader's coming in. Car. So is Ross Chastain, but Eric Jones is still staying out. Eric Jones may win this race. We've got three laps to go, but one lap on the fuel. It just crossed over to one lap to go on the fuel as we cross the line. But here's the good thing. We can come in. Lower fuel. We can just take fuel. I'm going to go for it. We're just going to take fuel. So here we come. Green flag pit stop about to occur here at Loudon. Can we get in quickly and get out just as fast? Watch your speed. All right, so into the pits we come. Half a tank of fuel in and out we go. So where are we going to fall in the running order? Down to 19th, 20th. So I guess everybody else does splash too, which is a bit depressing. And it means I'm probably going to end up losing that incentive contract, which is a bit disappointing as well. But we'll be coming around for the white flag this time around. So we just got to try to keep Eric Almarola behind us. It's going to be difficult as we are on old, old tires. As we take One the white flag. And the winner has already crossed the line. Carlo, car high. As Logano's just going to slam Three me. Wide. Because he's Out a rival, of, of course. He's going to give me another shot there. My car is just dead. There's just, the tires are completely gone. There's nothing I can do. The thing is just completely all over the car place. High. Bubba Wallace is going to give me a shot. Wow, look at this car trip. Outside. Oh boy, wow, Bubba is not pleased with me, but we managed to get around and through, so we'll take 23rd, actually lose a position from our qualifying. 
So, 23rd. But we finished on the lead lap. I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. Eric Jones took the win because he didn't have to pit, so... Good on Jones. Good on Jones. Good strategy call there. What a shocker. We're not going to complete the incentive contract again. So, we move on in the schedule to yet another Xfinity Series race, and it is Indianapolis. So, you know what? Since it's Indy, we are going to stop here for the New Hampshire race and do a 50% race at Indianapolis next time for the NASCAR Heat Career Mode.